Glasgow is a vibrant and buzzing city, best known for its legendary banter, Billy Connolly, football divides and even the Glasgow Kiss. And with a population superseding the national capital by over 1 million people, you may be surprised to know, Glasgow is one of the poorest constituencies in the UK. With poverty rates rising within the working class, over 40% of children in Glasgow are living in poverty. So what does that mean longer term? Statistically, children living in poverty are more likely to be exposed to hardship and abuse. There are many contributing factors that can lead to homelessness. No one wakes up one day and decides, I, this is the life for me. People in this situation are part of the most vulnerable within our society. When you piece together the statistics and the timelines, the harrowing situation of homelessness becomes ever more apparent. 16 million people in the UK experience mental illness every year. And in Scotland, one out of every three GP appointments are related to mental health. Now, if you consider three out of four mental illnesses start in childhood, it may not be overly surprising to hear that 50% of mental illness in adults takes root before the age of 15. We're dealing with a mental health and poverty epidemic. And homelessness? It's a cancerous symptom of it. NHS Scotland has stated on their website that Early childhood trauma is usually the root of homelessness. Yet, only 6% of the NHS research spending goes on mental health. So to build a more substantial picture, missing people have released the following statistics on the most common reason young people and children are going missing. So some of the most common reasons are as follows, conflict, abuse and neglect in the home. This accounts uh, to a roughly one in five children that go missing and they felt forced to leave because of it, you know. Sexual exploitation, that's seven in ten young people who have been sexually exploited also have been reported missing. Mental health issues, at least one in 10 missing children as well. Um, what was surprising, but sort of also made a lot of sense when I was looking at the statistics is that on average, it takes up to 10 years to get the help that you really need. That can come down to, you know, misdiagnosis, a trial and error with your medication, or, you know, a lack of resources with the NHS. What happens if in that time you become homeless? So from an early age, your life experience can be exposed to much greater challenges than learning your ABCs. These children are surviving, not thriving. The poverty consequences on mental health and from an early age is alarming and the ramifications are more than often troublesome and prolonged. The latest figures show on the Scottish Government website that 38 children were made homeless every day last year in Scotland. Young men are the highest risk of becoming homeless. However, the risk has never been greater for most people. Poverty rates are rising, homelessness is rising, mental health related illnesses are rising, suicide also rising. If you weren't already aware, suicide is the leading cause of death in young adults. 10 years is a long time to be waiting. The risk in some cases means death to at least one homeless person in Glasgow every single month. The label homeless has changed over the years. Although most people still associate homelessness with sleeping rough, in fact, because of progressive Scottish laws, sleeping rough would be an absolute last resort. But it does happen. 
The most likely scenario, however, would be finding yourself in a no fix the board situation, commonly referred to as NFA. said if it wasn't for you guys you know I'd be getting nothing to eat and we get such positive feedback mm -hmm. the whole time so there's no doubting the need mm -hmm. and what we get the benefit of is the gratitude when we service that need the most desperate people can still be very gracious when yeah. we are giving them what for us is kind of nothing really because we're not even creating it ourselves we're just picking it up from other places but they're very grateful mm -hmm. and that's pretty heartening and that gives you a measure of the value. Mm -hmm. Be kind. You never truly know what's going on in someone's life or what has gone on in their life. Take a leap of faith in someone in need. Stop. Engage. We are all human. Just some of us have been born into very different circumstances.